Jordan and Eric. from North American Adventures. Today you join us on the Drummond Island Ferry in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, our home state. It's gorgeous weather today. It's supposed to be mid-70s after a couple days of haze and coolness and rain. There's a lot of smoke coming down from Alberta, Canada fires and that's been settling down in Michigan, so we've had to contend with that, but today is gonna to be really, really nice. Drummond Island is known for a couple kayaking opportunities and a lot of OHV and ORV trails. We're gonna maybe hit some of them, try and see some shipwrecks, some cliffs, maybe get a little food, depending on if our bellies allow it. We ate a lot yesterday. It's beautiful, and we look forward to catching up with y'all on the other side of Lake Huron. Let's do it. Just stopped at the visitor center on Drummond Island. Eric is gonna show us the map right now. Ooh. And I'm gonna point out the things that we're gonna do today. <laughs> the first stop that we're headed to is Fossil Edges. Eric will point it out at the top of the map. That should be pretty cool. We were going to kayak from this point, but it turns out that you can see everything from the land. So it should be just a quick dirt trail out there, and then we'll head to our real kayaking location for today. Point number two, Big Shoal Cove and a cool maybe three mile total paddle there and back to a shipwreck. And then number three, we have Glen Cove, which we were just told has a really nice sandy beach, and we'll check out the water there. To the fossil legends! Yeah! We've hit a bit of a roadblock giant puddle and there's more to come down the way I did a little scouting mission as we came to Po Point Road we came to an impasse as Eric showed you it had rained the last couple days so there's huge exposed sharp rocks big muddy mounds and very deep puddles close to over half a foot deep maybe yeah and the clearance of the Honda isn't that great I don't even know if you had a standard truck like a Toyota or a Ram if you'd have enough clearance to get through this area either so we're not going to attempt that with the Honda because we still need it for many days to come instead we're going to go ahead to our next point the kayaking point where we can see shipwrecks I believe that is Big Shoal Cove exactly Finishing up breakfast. Eric's polishing off the peaches. <laughs> Canned peaches as we forgot our banana this morning. Over to my right here, we have our kayak all set up. Safety equipment, waterproof gear, all in, everything pumped. Bringing two dry bags today. As always, I err on the safe side. We bring rope, we bring an extra pump, we bring a tarp, 
And we also bring food, electronics, etc. Most of our electronic stuff is in the blue bag, so it can all be accessed at the same time. Accessed at the same time. Then here's our extra hookup and safety equipment in the gray bag to stay dry. We're excited to get out and check out some shipwrecks. Eric's just filling up water. We gotta change and hit the water. Water's looking gorgeous here too, honestly. Not green, but super clear. to get there, three and a half back. Is that correct there? That's correct. We are entering Scammon Cove here. Shipwreck should be just across, right around there. Look at this beautiful water, folks. We're getting close. So I say we continue over towards that. Looks like it's not just a rock. I. <laughs> oh yeah, there's, you can see, there's a cross there, you can see as well, big beam here, not too deep under the water. According to the Drummond Island Tourism Association, the Troy was built at Marine City, Michigan in 1872 by David Lester. She served as a lumber carrier for most of her career on the Great Lakes. She was 187 feet long, 30 feet wide, 10 feet deep, and weighed 486 tons. This is like the really long section here. We sit on top of the ruins, or float on top of the ruins, of the Troy. We saw a couple beams underneath us, some planks and certainly underwater growth that suggests there's a structure underneath us, and a pretty big one at that. Supposedly this is in five to 10 feet of water. It seems like it might be a little deeper right now, but there has been some recent rainfall in the area, so it may be due to that. This has gotta be the front. <laughs> yes, definitely. The Troy. Her final owner was the Cretan Company of Drummond Island, which was a lumber company with headquarters and a lumber mill located at Scammon Cove. The vessel was reported abandoned in 1920, and some people believe it burned at the dock around that time. Only lower hull timbers now remain on the schooner barge Troy. To the keel! Catch some snacks as I paddle backwards here. And we'll just catch some shots of this bay area. What's the bay called? I don't uh, Scammon Bay. Scammon. Just like the pirates of Troy were scamming. We don't know if they're pirates. It was a lumber ship. That's correct. We're looking for a snack spot, hopefully on this island or maybe the peninsula behind it. Island 
for our snack. Scammon Bay, way in the distance behind us. Coming around the first corner here, back on our way to the Big Shoal Bay Beach. We're almost in. Just got everything packed away into the top box and into the car. It's dried out as best we could and cleaned off. Now it's time for some <laughs> We deserve it. Then we're gonna head to Glen Cove. Glen Cove. Welcome to Glen Cove. That's what Eric is showing y'all behind me. Very beautiful placid water. It's very buggy on this beach and quite shaded. I feel like our last beach was a lot nicer where we actually launched our kayak from. This is nice. Maybe we'll hop in, but probably we'll head back to the other spot. Chill there for a bit. We're abandoning Fly Beach. White fish baskets for the boys. Fried shrooms, yay! After leaving Glen Cove and chowing down on some delicious fresh caught whitefish, we head back to the ferry just in time for a picturesque sunset over Lake Huron. Drummond Island is definitely worth a visit if you find yourself in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. We had an awesome time kayaking and exploring OHV trails. Thanks for watching. If y'all like the content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications down below. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.